Hello, everyone. Now, one of the challenges that we always face, like most of the university students most face all the time, is choosing a career. Right? So, I'm going to share my inspiration of choosing my career, like why I chose my career. And you know what? The best advice about my career was actually given by someone we have all heard of. Uh, yeah, it's this person. How Stephen Hawkins actually acted as my career advisor. How I got my career advice from Stephen Hawkins. Specifically from his book, A Brief History of Time. So, in this book of his, he explains the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe in a very simple way. He explains it in terms of a balloon. Like imagine a small balloon with two small dots in it. And then when you start blowing that balloon up, those dots start getting bigger and bigger, like that. Now, when I was reading about this, um, this was an explanation of the Big Bang, like expansion of the universe, that the universe started as a small balloon, and then when you blow it up, it expanded. The universe has expanded along with it. Now, when I was reading up, this idea felt to me not as a scientific explanation, but rather as a very interesting career advice. Because if you think about our own careers, we are given the choice of making a mark either on a very large balloon, which is basically an established company, going for a multinational for a job, going for an established well known bank for a job, or we could go for entrepreneurship. We could go and work with a startup. We can come up with our own ideas, which would be a smaller balloon. So we do have a choice of making an impact either on a larger balloon or a smaller balloon. When it is in the smaller, uh, larger balloon, it's just a dot, and the balloon is big enough already. There are bigger dots already, and you will grow, but not by that much. If you do make your mark on a smaller balloon, and if you are careful enough to identify a growing balloon, What's going to happen is that when this balloon goes up, your dot expands. You become something big along with the balloon. Now, that was a key advice. Because, you know, when we go on to choose our carriers, we always look for the most glamorous ones. But in the glamorous ones, there are already glamorous people there. But when you come up with new ideas, smaller industries, smaller, but yet, potential to grow industries, then when those grow up, when those become glamorous, you'll be glamorous along with it. In fact, this is why uh, I was a finance graduate, finance and econ graduate, but then I went on to teaching and teaching um, operations management. One of the reasons was when I wanted to do operations courses, we didn't have teachers. I figured out that, well, that's it, that's an area where that can do with some growing. That's a small balloon, so why not make a mark there? So thankfully, when I returned, I had interview in six universities, and all of them I got in. All of them I ended up with having a job offer, just because I was an operations graduate. So, my talk, my talk is actually really, really short. So I'm directly going to the final point of why I'm not sharing my story. So, from my story, I would like to point out two things. One is, for your career, when you choose your career, try and focus on an area which shows potential, which is not already below. Try to make a mark on a small balloon, but a balloon which has a future, which has a plan to grow, which you believe will grow in the future. But more importantly, and along with this um, events theme, an inspiration, an idea, even a solution to a problem can come from any source. I'm a business graduate who ended up reading an astrophysics book, getting a career advice from an astrophysicist. I'm pretty sure that he didn't write that book to give us career advices, but I ended up getting one. So if an idea or a solution or an inspiration can come from any place, I just have a very simple question to you. What's stopping you to get your big idea? Thank you. Thank you. Come home and talk to the